Sumesco Q wants on Baby O to guy ni ha lava fly to ya do wa o What's up, everybody, and welcome to another exciting edition of Let's Talk Toys. As always, I'm your host, Dave Wonder, uh, and yeah, I'm here to make Monday suck a little bit less, or whatever day you're watching this on. Uh, as always, I want to give a quick shout out to the chat. I'm pointing over here because that's where the chat is on my screen, so wherever the chat may be. Hi. Um, how is it going, COJ uh, Shakes? You've been in here a while. Uh, making the first comment at 5.07. So what up, Shakes? We got Mighty Mike in there, Fortnite, Josh Bear, Theo Mike in there, Josh Brown, Phantom Crow, Esteban, what's going on, man? Good talking with you yesterday, by the way. Uh, we talk about spaceships. The Mighty Mitch Falcon is back in town for one night only. Uh, what up, Fortnite? How is it going, Chris? What up, Shaggy? Oh, uh, Shaggy coming in with them sweet, sweet emotes. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. What up, Kevin O'Bing? Uh, Pendergast, how's it going, man? What's up, Smeddy? What's up, Mixy? Shaggy? Uh, 3M, hello, 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 and welcome. As always, you know, we're going to run through a little toy news, but there's a couple things that uh, I got to talk about real quick first. Um, also, oh, okay, a bunch of people just said hey uh, in the chat too. What up, Jamie Lynn, Northern Nomad, Winter Star, and Epic Badger? Um, hello. Um, but Again, there's some exciting stuff coming this week. Again, the usual four streams, but this week there's a fifth. It's not a mini marathon, but it will be the same length. It'll be a four-hour block of gaming, but I'm not going to do it alone. That's right. It's going to be Dem Dam Wheeler Boys teaming up, hopefully, with some of you. And to tell a little bit more about it, I'm going to bring in Beard. Hi, brother. Whoops. Hello, there we go. brother. Hello. Um, um, yeah. Uh, first of all, hey Coj, how's it going? Great to see you as always. A uh, slightly different, uh, slightly different night for me. Uh, jumping on Dave's channel, but really excited to be here. Really excited to be teaming up with Dave on yet another um, uh, endeavor to help um, help folks out. Uh, we have a a friend, Chris, who is uh, part of our extended professional wrestling family. Um, he uh, trained and was a ring announcer for um, one of our favorite promotions, Jakara, out east. Um, he's done stuff with Kaiju Big Battle. He's done stuff um, uh, with the SoCo Let's Hang Out in um, in Pennsylvania. He's done just a ton of of work. And um, a couple of years ago, moved up um, and uh, started working and following his other dream, which was um, which was kind of running. Uh, uh, kind of bar and, and restaurant establishment. Um, and he's had some issues the last couple of years with um, his health. Um, and unfortunately, he's in a position now that he doesn't have health insurance. Um, and he also recently um, came out uh, with some uh, pretty heavy things that he's gone through in his life. Um, he suffered abuse as a as a, as a young man. Um, and he's really trying to kind of get everything, um, on the up and up now He's trying to take care of, he's had a couple of pretty bad oral, um, uh, dental, uh, infections that he's trying to get some dental work, um, figured out and get everything right on the right path. Um, he did a lot of work to, um, kind of get himself in better physical shape and try to address a lot of this. But as you know, um, you know, life can throw you curveballs. So he's in the process of um, doing a GoFundMe. We also have his direct Venmo, um, which is a trusted um, source for folks who don't like going through a uh, GoFundMe. He's already raised, I think, over $3,000 of the projected kind of 25 to, to put a really big dent in this. And we'd like to help him out. Um, we're going to be doing uh, this stream um, uh, on the Known World United. We're also going to be doing a D&D &D stream. So um 
this is us, the Wheeler boys. Beep boop. Um, so we've gone through in our Microsoft realms. It is a Java um, realm, um, but we've gone through and we've outfitted some kits um, for folks that want to um, make a donation and join us um, in taking down this really interesting uh, uh, opportunity that we have, we'll say. We started a world uh, in Minecraft um, 1.20 to uh, play with Ollie and be able to explore. It's a small island that has two things. One, a village. The other, a woodland mansion. And we ain't cleared that baby out yet, but we'd really like to. And we really can't do it without your help. So we figured this would be a really fun opportunity for some COJ friends, some other friends to um, to pop in, um, make some donations. Um, you can make a donation and play. You can also make donations during the stream. We'll have all sorts of dumb stuff, I'm sure, um, to, uh, to kind of continue um, this train. But this Friday, uh, the Wheeler boys are going to be suiting up. Um, and we have uh, nine open slots um, for folks that want to join us. Um, obviously, if this is like a big hit, there's lots of things in this world that we could go after. We could do end busting. We could do stronghold busting. We could do all sorts of um, really fun things. But um, yeah, that's that's kind of the pitch. You know, Chris has been um, amazing to us um, when he was a, a, an announcer as Vlad Radnoff, the party czar who knows where the parties are. Um, I own, uh, multiple of his, you know, outrageous, uh, coats that he ended up selling when he, um, wrapped up, um, David owns a track jacket. Um, well, our friend Nate. I, have, I have the patch from the track jacket. If you ever see me at a show, well, the tr yes, the track I, jacket uh, is. I wear the, uh, uh, collar and elbow support your favorite indie wrestler. And it has mm -hmm. the Chikara patch. That's actually from his game or not his game, but, uh, his, uh, jacket, because uh, the the actual jacket shredded up pretty good. But I did pull this up so that we could uh, could give oh. give a little run through. So, oh, um, sure, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll pop in. James and I have been building this out. Uh, there's going to be some lag going on, but we have a bunch of supplies. There's Beard. How's it going, brother? And then uh, upstairs, James and I have spent the last couple days uh, in our spare time kitting everything out. So we have heroes. 10 spots available uh, for you guys to come and play with us on Friday. We're going to do it mini marathon style, 8 to midnight. Um, but uh, yeah, everybody uh, who comes and plays is going to have full enchanted diamond armor. We got all the goodies all ready to go in there and in there. So you'll get all kitted out um we'll play we'll have some fun um be a part of the stream i know i always love getting you guys on here um during extra life this is kind of uh, an opportunity to help out one of our friends uh who's gone through some crap um so like we said there's a village and then uh right up here it's really weird because i'm i'm watching up top so there's a little lag but you can see in the background there there is the Woodland Mansion over there. Uh, and for those who uh, have not played Minecraft before, um, James, god dang it. Oh, you got fire! Ha ha ha! Anyways, so we want to get you guys in here to play with us for a cause. Um, this might actually even become a part of the mini marathon. Um, but we'll see uh, what happens. I'm going to hop off before James uh, brains me with a. I would never a... do that. I meant to shoot it just right by your face uh, and not actually hit you, but sure, sure. You know, it um, thank it you, man. Also very important. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so we will be going live eight to midnight. Woo. Um, whoop, there we go. Whoop. Eight to midnight on Friday. Um, it'll be Beard and I and uh, our friend Doug, uh, who you know from Known World United. Um, and we'll be in here playing Minecraft for a cause, uh, trying to take down the Woodland Mansion. You'll probably hear Ollie hooping and hollering in the background because I'm sure he's going to want to stay up to do uh, to, to see what we're doing. But um, yeah, we're going to have some fun. We're going to game for a cause. Uh, we're going to help out a really good dude who's put a lot of good out in the world. Um, and you might even see some uh, more familiar faces pop in uh, to Chitty Chat. 
Um, so yeah, that'll be coming up Friday. Um, stay tuned. Beard's socials, my socials, uh, we'll be talking about it. It'll be on here and it'll be on the Known World United channels. Um, so we'll be simulcasting. Um, so again, just trying to raise some money for a dude who's gone through some shit. So um, again, this does not replace uh, the mini marathons for Extra Life. Uh, those are still going strong. Uh, in fact, uh, I, I, I'm drumming up some fun guests for the next one coming up. Um, so I'm very, very excited about that. I'm very, very excited to do some crafting here on the channel with my brother um, and our friends and the COJ. Um, so <laughs> Northern Nomad, odious for Wade Merrick. Dude, I'd love to get Wade on here. He's been on here a couple times. Um, so again, those will be for the mini marathons. I might, I might do the Nuggets of Doom for this as well. Um, again, it's for a good cause to help out a dude who's gone through some shit. So, um, again, crafting with crafting for Chris um, is going to be happening this Friday uh, from eight to midnight. So, um, again, stay tuned for you know more information as it comes out. Uh, again, we'll be po we'll both be posting on our socials. Uh, I'll be posting up here on the channel as well. Um, and yeah, so thought that'd be pretty fun. I want to bring Beard on here. Uh, so that we could talk about it um, just because, yeah, someone, someone near and dear to both our hearts. Um, and yeah, what up, Thor? How's it going, bud? Um, but yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a fun time for a good cause, as as per usual, um, when we're always going for it. Um, oh, there we go. Uh, da, 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 da. You can go check out uh, oh, Chris Mitch, as well. Mitch is on it. <laughs> oh, oh, thanks, Mitch. Boop. You very, very quick. Um, I did toss the link up there as well. Again, um, an opportunity to help out a good dude. And if you're, so, you know, and if you're inclined to support him, he also, you know, has a, a vintage business. So he said, you know, if folks feel uncomfortable just kind of giving or would like to, you know, kind of support his business, um, you know, there's multiple ways to do that. Like I said, we'll we'll also be posting. Uh, his Venmo on our, um, um, you know, on our socials. So folks, if they want to, uh, you know, donate directly, um, that gets around the the kind of GoFundMe fees, but also, you know, puts uh, money in his pocket earlier so he can, you know, kind of pay down these bills and and get in to get the the rest of the um, the the kind of uh, dental work um, and things. Um, he spent, you know, in the last two years, he spent one Christmas and one birthday um, with a, a dental infection in the hospital. So, um, and and has had not really shared a lot of this with us. Um, so, uh, if you'd like to learn more, please, you know, check out the um, the GoFundMe. GoFundMe. It has, you know, kind of a a longer version of of all of this and, and goes into a little more um, detail. I will, you know, say thank you to Mitch for. For posting um, uh, the numbers, um, there is, um, you know, just um, warning. Um, there is conversations about um, about abuse um, of minors and, um, and and sexual abuse. So, um, you know, please be gentle with with this and um, with yourselves um, because it's, you know, it was a lot. It, it was a lot um, to to share and to know that, you know such a good friend had had gone through this and been, you know, kind of silently suffering like a lot of victims of abuse too over the years. So, um, you know, anything we can do to, to kind of help out and, and thank you to Dave, thank you to all the COJ for welcoming us on and in, and, um, you know, we'll do what we can to, uh, to make a dent in this bad boy. So, so it'll be fun again, crafting for Chris this Friday, eight to midnight, um, right here on the Dave wonder channels as well as the known world United channel. Um, so make sure to check that out. Um, that's right. This has been a week already, but let's end it on a high note. It's going to be fun. Uh, I'm going to, like I said, I, I, the more that I'm talking about it, I think the nuggets of doom will, uh, will be making a comeback again. Uh, let yeah, me I'll suffer. Do, I will also do dumb shit. If you guys oh. are willing to support this, I'll do, I'll get something and fi we'll figure something out. We'll, if you guys have incentive ideas, put them in the chat. To say how much you're you're willing to donate for us doing dumb stuff, what a nightmare. we'll make we'll make a whole a menu of of maybe not of doom, but <laughs> of we'll we'll make a <laughs> anyway. Mitch will anyway. do dumb shit too. True yes. story. Um, Jesus. 
Mm. Uh, That'll take a big donation. It's a big donation. Um, the last time I did that, I think we raised two grand for uh, St. Baldrick's childhood cancer for St. Baldrick's Day. Yep. I do Just have pictures of that. I have pictures of bald, beardless beard that I I will. Uh, oh God! And for forty dollars, we'll send you. It. <laughs> he looked like Uncle Fester because I didn't. Did, he didn't get your eyebrows done though. No, I left my eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> Many of doom, doom not actually included. Shave the head, keep the beard. Shots hot. Hey, if you guys come up with uh if you guys come up with a, a sum that I feel is is reasonable, I, I am not beyond um doing this for Chris. So right, it'll be good. So beard, thank you for hopping on. Uh maybe see you tomorrow on here. Yeah. I don't know. Absolutely. Um, we got an another good good friend of the party star coming on and Chris Hoyer, uh aka Chris oh, Horror yeah. Show. It's gonna be fun. Absolutely. Um <laughs> shave day, dye your beard. What color? Um, what? I think that th I think that you're looking for a different account, and it's not Patreon. <laughs> yep. mm -hmm. Um, shave Dave, shave, shave the wheel. Yeah. See, um, see, shave Dave was what I saw oh. <laughs> when you were like, "Is he doing that?" Oh, what up, Thomas? Man, Thomas, um, you came in a whole, whole, yeah. whole different thing. How long? Anyway, all right, I'll let you guys get to, to talking toys. Talk all about right. all them sweet, sweet uh, Star Wars toys for me, baby. Will do. Bye, Beard. Bye. Boink. Um, anyways, welcome, welcome. Okay, now that that is done and said and out of the way, very excited for this wild freaking week uh, that it is going to be. Um, again, Mondays is this. Tuesday, Chop and Shop. Chris Horror Show is coming back on. It's Matt's week to be born. Um, man, Wednesday's got a stacked gripping and ripping cast. Uh, Thursday is Griff Riffs. And then Friday, crafting for Chris. So a full week of streams this week. Very, very excited about that. Just being weird. Yeah, I figured. Um, how about you dye your beard, Dave's beanie pink? Man, I don't know if I don't know if you can get that. Well, I have a green green beanie on right now, but um, <laughs> never mind. He left. Don't worry, don't worry, Smunk. I'll bring it up to him. Uh, this past week, I had those Rudy Tooty fresh and fruity chips with hot sauce and wasabi. Nice. How were they? I'm very curious. Um, but we have a lot of toy news, uh, to cover, so I will pull that up now and hopefully it's even in the right format. Maybe. Nope. Didn't work. There we go. Um, we're going to start off real quick with the Epic Hacks boss fight blanks, um, that are now up for pre-order on all your favorite online retailers, big bad toy store, bossfightshop.com, entertainment earth, check them out again. Um, different colors, uh, of basically the same two base sculpts. Um, looking amazing. Again, these are going to be in your 112 scale. Um, so you have kind of a masked base. You have a nice blank body to work with. Um, and of course, a friggin' Todd McFarlane toy snuck its way in there. God dang it. Uh, well, at least it's the only one. Um, there's, there's the, uh, nice patina edition Kingdom Come Batman. We'll come back around to him. Don't worry. Um, I'm currently eating the new churro Oreos. Very nice. They're oddly edible. I can't call them good there. Um, but yeah, these base bodies look great. Again, I think this is going to be bring on a really fun renaissance for customizers. Um, <coughs> just super stoked. Uh, I actually want to try and get one of these to put that Mezco Spider-Man costume on because I think that would be mwah, ship's keys. Um, but again, same base body. Um, you kind of have a Superman head and then two generic heads and a masked cowled head. Uh, four sets or three sets of hands, two sets of feet. So you have booted and unbooted. Um, but yeah, this is really stinking cool. I'm very, very excited for this. Again, Boss Fight has always been at the forefront of cost toy customization uh, and kit bashers uh, with their Vitruvian Hacks line. This Epic Hacks brings it into a more popular, not a more popular, but a more common scale uh, for customizers. Um, very, very excited. Brian Merchant, is it harder to paint pinless joints? Um, I think it's easier to paint pinless joints, to be quite honest. Mitch Falcon says, hey, you know what those would be a wonderful base for? Naked Dave? Uh, sorry. Yes. Now you can you can pop the Dave Wonderhead on a random naked body. It's going to be fun. Um, Onlydays.com. Bam. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the range of motion on these are great. Uh, very, very excited for them. 
Um, moving over, something that we already know uh, that we've seen, but uh, now there's pretty promotional pictures uh, that are available up on uh, Hasbro Pulse and Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth, I believe. But the FF uh, Spidey and Wolverine 2-pack, uh, I'm very excited for this. The new Fantastic Four of Wolverine, Spider-Man, uh, Hulk, and Ghost Rider has always been favorite a favorite of mine. Granted, these costumes are supposed to go with the uh, Franklin and Valeria 2-pack, uh, but this still rules. Uh, new Dave, you say. Also, hello. What up, Darth? Um, already pre-ordered a full set of each color of the Epic Hacks. Very, very cool. Um, very excited to get these in. Uh, they look great. Um, again, bodies that we've already seen. New deco. Now you can put them on the FF shelf. Moving over, BBTS has an exclusive uh, new Mezco Johnny Blaze uh, as Ghost Rider. Um, again, this is a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive. You can only get it at a Big Bad Toy Store. Um, but it is Johnny in his ridiculous blue and baby blue accented um, OG outfit. Um, this looks absolutely astounding. Um, again, it's a light up head. It has a light up head. It has a movable jaw. It has the same articulation that the previous Mezco Ghost Rider uh, has. It also has the same bike, which I kind of wish they had come out with a new bike for it. But I understand redeco new costume. Easy enough to do. Um, but yeah, this figure looks insane. Again, up for pre-order right now in Big Ben Toy Store. Northern Nomad says that Wolverine and Spider-Man are just redundant repaints, in my opinion. And Northern Nomad, that's cool. Um, you know, and they are, to be quite honest. But now they fit on a Fantastic Four shelf and can complete a team, which is pretty neat. Um, but yeah, comes with all kinds of goodies. Also, I don't know why they black these out, but those are his um, Hellfire shotguns. Um, moving over to Hot Toys, we have the Umbra Operative Arc Trooper. Uh, again, another paint variant. Uh, as Northern Nomad said, a redundant paint variation. Uh, it's not a redundant paint variation. This is just another trooper uh, to add to your army. Again, this is Hot Toys exclusive, so it'll probably be a sideshow exclusive or a show exclusive, um, like most Hot Toys exclusives are. Um, but yeah, this is a really badass looking trooper. I love the crazy skull paint job. Just bad ass looking again available from hot toys uh send in the clones yeah, shh, I talk about the pew pews. they made at least the front of the bike uh different comparing the pics to the one on my shelf nice <coughs> i didn't realize that uh whoa what's in stock to ship from gamestop oh the logan and Sabretooth two pack yeah um and i think bbts is getting theirs in soon too it's from the department of redundancy department aha uh, moving over, Mafex's uh, monthly reveals. Uh, this time, a few figures from the boys and a Spider-Man 2099. Um, Miguel, looking good. Very much the classic darker blue uh, from the comics. Comes with a full array of web capes. The thing that I found interesting that I didn't realize from this shot is it, his cape is in three sections. Um, he has two... For un, attached to the underarms and then one to the back. Um, still doesn't stop it from being an absolutely stunning looking figure. Um, I will be very curious to see how tight and what the tolerances are on those cape bits uh, for them to stick on and actually not be falling off constantly. Um, but I don't remember him having web wings. I remember him having the web cape. But see how it's it's segmented, which I'm, I'm just not the biggest fan of. Also, interestingly enough, if you look up here, there's one joint, one joint, and then two joints, which I'm wondering if that's a digital render redundancy because I'm not entirely sure about that. If you order the Lander 2-pack uh, with it, you would get free shipping. True story. Um, but yeah, there you have the two variant heads, uh, one with... Squinted eyes, one with slightly squintier eyes, and then a partially unmasked one. I do wish we got the fangs out uh, in that head sculpt. Um, ooh, there we go. Um, but still looks amazing. Um, but yeah, there are all of your accessories. Again, oh no, there we go. This one does look like it have two. It has two pegs there. So, so a total five different aspects of the web cape, which is pretty wild. There are actually two options for the back piece, Dave. One and one piece and one and two parts. Oh, see, I didn't... Oh, they don't put that in the pictures. I swear in the comics he says something about the suit being black and red. Could be. Uh, make that three back pieces. 
The cape is fine, but I'll keep be keeping a sharp eye out for someone more talented than me to make a three-piece three, a three -piece cloth variant. Yeah, me too. Uh, moving over to Soldier Boy from The Boys. Uh, everything that you come to expect from The Boys, Mafex figures, a uh, bevy of accessories, a fantastic array of head sculpts, um, and a crazy amount of detail, including his, uh, his little flask there. Um... Pretty damn cool. Phantom Crow, if someone ever does Ghost Rider 2099 with his bike, I'm going to lose my shit. Fair. Um, I do like that you get two variants of the shield. Um, you get the separate helmet, his flask, his knife, and his microphone. Uh, moving over to the deep. Again, uh, same same vibe. You get the clippers uh, with him so that he can cut his hair. Um, again, I think the likeness is pretty dead on. Um, I don't know. I'm not a huge boys fan, uh, but their figures have been insanely cool looking, especially the Mafex ones. Uh, then popping over to Mattel Creations uh, reveal day, uh, they finally officially revealed Stratos. Um, again, badass looking, straight upgrade from the vintage as most Origins are. He comes with two Cyclone effects, his shield. Um, I don't know what to call it, but his Cyclone hula hoop thing that's on his back, uh, which is very, very cool. Uh, it does not come with his octopus snack. I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping Soldier Boy would come with laser eye face from Butcher. That'd be pretty cool. Um, and you never know. Maybe it'll be an exclusive packet or something. Uh, no, not Stratos. Uh, did I say Cyclone? That's my bad. Sorry. I've been... Uh, it's been a day. Um, but yeah, Cyclone looking amazing. Again, it does look like that might actually be a lenticular shield. Um, it was really hard to tell even in the video. Oh, sorry, 3M. Yes, Cyclone. Sorry, not Stratos. Uh, again, it, it's been a long day. Um, but he does come with the ability to adjust it up top, kind of like the uh, Vintage 2000X figure. Um, he does have the shield, his two swappable Cyclone hands. Stratos, that looks nothing like the Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, hushed. It is lenticular. Okay. I had a hard time seeing it on the stream, but I was watching it on my phone. Um, again, comes in an awesome uh, box. And... I mean, this is the Fright Zone. you got to imagine that they got to be coming up with that sooner than later. Again, Cyclone, Heroic Fist Flinging Tornado. It is a collector's edition. So again, uh, it'll be up on Maddie Collector. Or, sorry, Maddie Creations, not Collector. That's They're different. Very much the same. Um, Mattel is having their 2024 reveal program tomorrow. Um, y yes, this was from the Motu one, which was yesterday no when was that last week i think um yeah that's what i'm saying it's all it's already up on oh he's already sold out jesus christ okay i missed that entirely i was like it's up on mattel creations but that shouldn't surprise me again <sighs> uh, did you see pictures of the other figures in the turtles of grace line we'll get there not maddie collector still digital river level frustration that's what I'm saying. Like, again, I'm sorry. I didn't check the stock levels. Um, I figured that it would at least stay up for a little bit. <sighs> That's a bummer. I mean, it's not a bummer. Hooray that it sold out. Uh, that was last Thursday. Okay, see? Okay, last Thursday. God, time flies. Um, moving over, uh, a couple of fun reveals. Um, this one being the Horde Trooper. Again, a very interesting thing of there's an organic head underneath that drone helmet. Um I always grew up thinking that they were robots, so um, now I feel kind of bad that they got hacked and slashed apart. Um, but a big, beefy-looking figure. Um, that one would be a lot of fun to play with. Just throwing that out there. I always like the 2000X Cyclone with the more Asian influences. Dude, he looked he looked amazing. That The 2000X Cyclone and Man-at-Arms. Uh, or not, well, yeah, Man-at-Arms too, and Manny Faces uh, were some of my favorites. Uh, popping over to Toddy Mac, or back to Toddy Mac, I guess. Um, but uh, the Music Maniacs line, again, we saw Alice Cooper last week, um, and it mentioned Ozzy Osbourne. Well, now you get a full look at them, again, in a six-inch scale. Um, so they are rocking the much more limited articulation scheme like the Batman 66 figures. Um, but still, very, very cool looking. So Dave is all right with bot murder. I am watching my back. I would never kill you. Maybe. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I'm talking like 80s 
standards and censorship and stuff like that. Like foot soldiers could get hacked apart, but like the, the horde troopers got smacked around and beaten up. So I always just thought they were they were robots. Uh, did you see that Susu flash figure? I did, Esteban. Uh, the uh, yeah, the Jay Garrick two pack. So you get both versions of the Crimson Comet. Um, maybe we'll talk about that here in a little bit. Uh, moving over to the super whoa uh, S S H Monster Arts um, Godzilla minus one black and white edition. Um, black um, again, just another pretty uh, promo image. I already made my custom Alice Cooper and Ozzy. So thanks. Todd. There you go. Um, moving over to a little Star Wars. Uh, I don't really know what to say about this. Again, y'all know that I'm not a big uh, Black Series collector. Um, I do know that that Grievous is a piece of crap because I have fixed probably a half dozen of those for friends. Um, I am surprised that we're getting this Vader as opposed to some of the other versions. I, I, if I'm remembering correctly, this was both well-loved but has been improved on since its release. If I'm remembering, minus color edition and a white board. There we go. Why this grievous? I don't know, Josh. Um, I do like, <laughs> I do like that we get Thrawn in a very. I mean, okay, Thrawn only has so many looks, but this one just strongly gives me a callback to the Power of the Force one, um, which yeah. Um, again, coming in pretty cool looking. I I want to say like throwback Black Series packaging, but they never had cards for like the core black series line the retro carded ones did but i don't know kind of cool to see though i actually really like this i kind of wish that they would go to card backs but i know for the mint on card collectors for black series they're probably all grown in and him and hawing at me now but uh yeah i don't know i think the card backs are cool uh popping over we have more black series uh this time going in to the acolyte um, the new TV show that, or, yeah, well, a new show that uh, debuted the trailer last week. Um, here we are coming with Jedi Jedi Master Indara. Um, Carrie Ann Moss looking awesome. Um, again, I, there's something about those robes that I really wish it was either thinner material or they'd wire them. Um, because I think they add so much to the figures. Um, Tony Johnson says, I was wondering if this is a new archive style. Maybe, Tony. Maybe. Um, the Holocron, uh, or Holocom, rather, Darth Maul. Again, transparent blue plastic with a little light-up puck down below. Very, very cool again. <laughs> Same thing with Darth. Uh, again, kind of weird seeing a fully transparent lightsaber. I don't know. Neat, all the same. Um, then popping back to the Acolyte, we have Jedi Knight Yord Fandar. Um, from, I'm going off of what I saw in the trailer. I think these look pretty damn cool. Um... And I really like the face printing. Like, dare I say, these might be their best prints. Um, granted, I only saw the characters briefly. Uh, Jedi Master Soul, looking awesome. Uh, the thing that I kind of took away from this, too, is these are a bunch of fun Jedi base bodies. So if you have any other Jedis you want to build, now's your chance. Um, blue Frost flavored Sith. I don't want that Holocom Darth Maul. It's cool looking. Um, we have Mai, who's the assassin. <laughs> Again, those cloth goods. I am curious because this looks like that is a very formed uh, hood. So I'll be curious to see if maybe there's a wire in there or something. Sean Phillips says Maul's lightsaber should be red like it was in Solo. That would be cool. Um, but again, these face prints are dynamite. All this little chain mail. Ah, oh, man, the deco hits. Woo. Uh, that's Weird Al. Can't tell me otherwise. Fair enough, Toy. Uh, we have Padawan, Jackie Lon. Uh, again, <coughs> I, have we gotten a Padawan Anakin? Like, really tiny Anakin? Like, Jake Lloyd Anakin in the Padawan outfit in Black Series? Uh, fair enough, Josh. Fair enough. A guy can dream. A guy can dream. That is an odd X-23 figure. Now that I've stopped collecting Star Wars figures, all the characters I need are getting new figures happening with Jedi Luke. Yeah. That hood fold is pressed that way by the seat. Ah, okay. Guy can dream. Guy can dream. Again, cool dramatic shot of throwing the robe aside. Um, but it just does emphasize on um, just what a chunk of cloth it is, as opposed to a kind of a missed opportunity for a little wire work in there. Oh, what up? Maltoff has gone rob. Now, pardon me while well, he's poor man's dremel to try and widen the head sculpt on these Freddy heads. If you need help, let me know, man. 
Well, they showed one in a pipeline, but we may never see it. Um, popping over, Tears of Kingdom uh, Link from Figma. There are two versions of this. This is the base offering. Um, again, you have the sword, the shield, uh, the cape, uh, a couple of different face sculpts and hands, and you have the deluxe sculpt. Crazy thing is, between these two releases, I think it's a $70 difference. Um, granted, you do get uh, this glider, the bow and arrow, just a plethora more of weapons and swappable arms and shields and energy effects. But yeah, 70 bucks. Oof. Well, I showed one. Oh, never mind. Why did that pop back up? Sorry, my chat is lovingly bouncing back up and down. And I'm trying to figure out why it's doing that. Um, popping over to the leaks of Turtles of Skull Again, these were all leaked out last week. Um, I know from talking with many friends who are uh, abiding by the uh, street date for the information for this, uh, that this, this is gonna hurt. This kind of hurt a lot of people, uh, for not being able to talk about these immediately on the channels and such. Um, but I, I didn't have that. So I'm going to dive into them. I'm very, very excited about these. Um, on here, again, the next couple waves uh, we get to see there. It's very fuzzy. We'll get better uh, information tomorrow, actually. Um, but you have Mikey, uh, like Samurai Skeletor, Tila in that uh, green armor, Stealth Ninja He-Man, April O'Neil rocking the, um, the Sorceress outfit, Stealth Ninja Leonardo, Merman with a fishtail, Casey Jones, Leatherhead, Splinter, uh, Splinter Skull, sorry, so King of Grey Skull, or King Grey Skull and Splinter mashed together, two Bob Steady, and Hordak. Uh, Hordak also looks like maybe he has some of those Chrome Dome elements in there, which is pretty cool. Man, that's the reason why I stopped playing the game. What? I really hope they make a sewer layer basement for Castle Grey Skull to go with the Turtles of Grey Skull. That would be dope. Merman, dude. Yeah, dude. I, oh, I'm glad I'm not the only one who thought that. Um, but uh, a little higher res of some of the figures. Um, here we have Splinter Skull, or yeah, Splinter Skull, um, with a braided beard, um, looking jacked. Um, I did think it was kind of funny that uh, you kind of have the cane with the power sword on top. You also have the half-skinned rat tail uh, in there, and a very King Gray Skull cape. I hope the hair on Michelangelo is removable, and Tila is one I must get from this way. Hell yeah! Um, here you have Stealth Leonardo. Which is just neat. I don't know. It's it's a variant on Leonardo. We've already gotten a Leonardo in the line. This one's all stealthy like. Plus, he has his more traditional katanas uh, included. That splinter does need pants. See, uh, yeah, Leo does have keys right there. Um, plus, kind of a cool cloth skirt and everything. Also, a smaller version of the bracers, um, which I actually have. Mike, you know, he has. That one, it looks like it's reusing that, but he has two of those as opposed to the massive shoulder pauldron um, that he has on here. That rip splinter looks like the possum that's terrorizing my trash cans. Well, damn. Should get should call the pros. Uh, here we have two, two bop steady. Um, I, I feel like this is really narrow. Like all the past two bads and stuff have a little more girth to them. This is very compact. Um, also, I don't know why Rocksteady has hair, but still cool. Uh, moving over, uh, my boy Mikey rocking that sweet He-Man quaff. Um, again, instead of the H, it's the M. Uh, looking awesome. I love the bright green, um, kind of sticking with that more 2012 color scheme. Um, yeah, this looks awesome. He comes with two chucks and, of course, his shell shield. Moving over to April as the sorceress. She has the friggin' band hammer. Um, I get one of those for Tony. Uh, but yeah, very much rocking the sorceress's uh, wings. I'm trying to remember. I can't. I'm blanking on what the sorceress, the sorceress's alternate name is, and I'm blanking at the moment. 10 out of 10 to be Bob Steady for the. There you go. Should have just called him Bob Steady. That'd been cool. Uh, but yeah, this looks awesome. Of course, April is in a yellow jumpsuit underneath everything. Um, and then we have Leatherhead, who pretty much looks like Leatherhead with a slightly masterized um, vest and, of course, crotch piece. Um, you can see the hollowed out tail 
uh, texture behind him, you get the very gigantic trap. Uh, his more traditional hat and what looks like an armored helm. I will, I will be curious because I was looking at this and I don't know if it's a helm or if it's a shoulder pad. Um, but still, very, very cool looking. She looks like Mercy from Overwatch a little bit. Is the hammer also a camera? It. I think that's what it's supposed to... Whoa. Woo. I think that's what it's supposed to... Ah, stop it. I just want to zoom in. I think that's what it's supposed to kind of emulate. Um, it In this iteration, it just looks more like a gemstone. Uh, is the hammer supposed to be a camera? I, I would guess so. Um, and then, yes, uh, we didn't get a better shot of this, but that is uh, the samurai Skeletor, essentially, to match up with your beast man. Uh, very, very cool. I love that bright, bright green. I am curious if that will be glow in the dark, uh, but we shall see. Uh, popping over to the TMNT Sketch Turtles, uh, some package shots leaked um, out, so they are exactly what you think they would be. Um, yeah, I like that all of them, wah, all of them come with a busted ooze canister, so if you just want to get one, you can just get one if you want. <laughs> Say cheese, smash, smash, smash. Um, again, these are will be available, I believe, this summer, so I think Leatherhead is mixed with Whiplash. Man, I don't know. It's kind of, it's one of those weird things of, it is Leatherhead, but like, yeah, you could definitely put elements of Whiplash in there. I guess that helmet would make more sense with him mashed up with Whiplash. But I mean, he just kind of looks like Masters of the Universe version of Leatherhead. I would like Mikey in red, but but Mikey's orange. Um, and yeah, that's all I got. Um, I, I know there was a better shot of Casey, but I couldn't find a really clear version of it. Um, I tried to grab one off the Discord, and it just kept on coming up fuzzy. Uh, time for an extreme close-up shot. Smash. Um, oh, congratulations to comics. I just pulled up, uh, uh the, the Book of Faces, um, to go through and find another copy of that image. And, uh, I see that you got your Mesco Turtles. Congrats. Uh, 3M says, April as the Sorceress is another one I must get. It's really cool looking. Um, ooh, that, let's see here. Come on. All righty. Also, one of those weird things of realizing just how many images we send in the Minnesota Toy Boys group chat. Maybe. Maybe. I think I'm going to have to do the damn Googles. Board, it says, Gadzoots just got shipping notice from E that the Mezco Turtles are on their way. Oh, good luck. Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. Da, da, da. Come on. Where is the leak? Man, did they... Mm. They might have successfully scrubbed that image. Uh -oh. Let's see, I'm digging the two-bop steady idea, but the figure doesn't quite work. Yeah, again, it's... I feel like it's too narrow, and that bothers me. Um, mainly because I feel like they could, they could be a beefier figure. Um... Oh, Toy News. Maybe I don't remember where I posted these. I think it's in Toy News. I know. Thrilling thrilling convo. Sorry. There we go. Do, do, do. I'll just share this. Boop. So, mm -hmm, boop. There we go. Um, there's a better shot of Casey. Very cool looking. Again, very much a master's version of Casey Jones. Still neat, though. But yeah. So that's all the toy news I have. Like I said, uh, it was one of those weird things of wanting to hop, come on here, uh, talk about the Crafting with Chris uh, stream in addition to all the toy news. Um, also talking about the rest of the streams for the week. Again, Chris Horror Show, Chris Hoyer coming on tomorrow uh, for Chop and Shop. Matt is back uh, tomorrow as well. Griffin and Rippin is stacked. Um, Griff Riffs, always a good time with good old Tony there. Uh, and then Friday is already Crafting with Chris. So um, it's going to be flipping sweet. Uh, Mitch dropping all that sweet, sweet information right there. Um, but yeah, with that being said, that's about all I got going um, this week, which is still a lot. 
Uh, I was going to see if Tony wanted to come on to shoot the shit for a bit, but I have not uh, heard back from him. So we shall see. Oh, what up, Toro? Um, heck yeah, between Bebop, Rocksteady, and Too Bad all being bigger boys would have made sense to building a mega thing. Yeah, I, I don't know. Also, thank you, Mitch. Um, also, very important information. Again, for those who are going through tough times, you're never alone. Make sure to give a shout. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. Going to be a crazy busy week. I hope you all come along for the ride. Again, live customizing and toy restoration tomorrow. Wednesday is an unboxing stream. Thursday is, well, riffing with Tony. Uh, and then Friday, come on back. We'll have a ridiculous mini marathon uh, for a good cause and be having a good time. As always, you can find me at the social media links below. Uh, if you want to buy some merch, uh, go over and check out ProWrestlingTees.com slash Dave Wonder. Uh, if you want to check out uh, Redbubble, Redbubble is still up. Uh, for now, I am transitioning a lot of those designs over to Pro Wrestling Tees. Um, so probably going to shut that down within a month or two. Um, but yeah, you can find me over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Dave Wonder. Most importantly, you can find me over on extra life, extra-life.org slash participant slash Dave Wonder. I'm over there raising good money for a cause. Um, it's always been a fun time. Again, uh, mini marathon, the next mini marathon coming up probably in June. Um, but kind of a bonus mini marathon for a different cause uh, coming up this Friday. Um, so make sure to check that out. Uh, there we go. Get that COJ crest on a shirt. Shay got his. I got mine. Um, yeah. So keep an eye out uh, for all the goofy, cool merch coming up. Um, also, we'll be talking about the uh, Discord giveaway or Discord, the Patreon giveaway uh, next week. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Um, so thank you, everybody, for coming on by, being a part of the conversation, and just hanging out and supporting me and the crew over here at the Dave Wonder channel. Uh, as always, folks, um, thank you. First, to Mitch for being the mod with the most. Thank you to COJ for being a part of the conversation. Ah, and yeah, be good. Be kind. Much love from Minnesota. Also, if you guys want to hang out with me, I'll be over on the Discord for a little bit. Good night.